Welcome back to Fighting Words Financial, folks. This is Jason, Certified Financial Planner and your host. And today, I wanted to take a little bit of a departure from the companies that I normally cover, and I want to talk to you about Iovance Biotherapeutics. Now, Iovance Biotherapeutics is in the field of oncology. Now, the pursuit of new and effective treatments for cancer has been going on for decades now, and many companies within the biopharmaceutical sector have been endeavoring to develop innovative techniques that can stop or slow the growth of certain types of cancers and cancerous tumors. And yet, as we all know, cancer sucks and there's no outright cure. But McKinsey and company reported that oncology-related therapies account for roughly 20% of all pharmaceutical sales in 2019, and that accounted for an annual revenue of $143 billion. So the oncology research and cancer research is big business and big in the stock market as well. And it makes sense to have some investments in this field. Analysts also predict further growth in this industry as over the next four years, oncology related expenditures are expected to rise to over $250 billion by 2024. Much of the value in the sector is being driven by an increase in the number of firms that are shifting from older methodologies to new and potentially life-saving technologies. With the help of advances in cell and gene therapies, many pharmaceutical companies are now able to tackle rarer forms of cancer, providing hope for millions of people worldwide that suffer from these various conditions. One of these companies is, of course, Iovance Biotherapeutics. Currently, they are one of the most promising biopharma firms, and Iovance is revolutionizing the space, and they have the potential to make incredibly effective oncology drugs accessible to large amounts of people. So let's dig in a little bit more into this company. Founded in 2007, the company was initially called Genesis Biopharma. However, in 2013, they merged with Lion Biotechnologies. And after a few years of restructuring, the company then rebranded into Iovance in 2017. Essentially, Iovance is focused on developing novel cancer treatments that revolve around something called tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does that mean? It all sounds like Greek to me. Well, let me break it down for you. The body produces tumor infiltrating lymphocytes almost as soon as your body detects cancer. And that's really your immune system's attempt to stop or slow the growth of that cancer on its own. Unfortunately, what often happens is that cancer cells adapt pretty quickly and they gain the ability to avoid these lymphocytes, meaning that the cancer is just going to continue to grow. However, Iovance potentially has found a solution. Using their own proprietary process, Iovance is currently researching the possibilities as to whether or not these cancer-fighting lymphocytes can be taken from the body and uh, you know, taken into a lab, multiplied by the billions of times in that lab, and then put back into your body to boost their effectiveness at reducing cancer growth. At the time of recording, Iovance's revolutionary process has already been granted 20 patents, which is a real sign of the industry's confidence in their ideas. Iovance also has some pretty good management in place. In terms of their management, Iovance CEO Maria Fardis is a woman who's been there and done that in the pharmaceutical industry. Holding extensive experience with early stage biopharma companies, Dr. Fardis is a great figure to lead the company forward. She has a track record of success and one of the interesting things on her resume is the fact that she led Asserta Pharma through clinical trials and early growth and that firm was eventually acquired by pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca. So she knows what she's doing. With a team of over 200 researchers, Iovance has the manpower and the expertise to disrupt the oncology therapy sector. As mentioned earlier, their HQ is in the San Francisco area, but they also have research bases in New York and Florida. With a solid CEO in charge and proper infrastructure in place, Iovance appears to be in prime position to continue its fight against cancer. So what is Iovance up to now? Iovance is currently conducting multiple clinical trials using its lymphocyte-based method that I mentioned earlier. These trials are centered on four different types of cancer to determine the effectiveness of the methods going forward. If these trials prove to be successful, it could be a huge boost for Iovance and will continue to provide hope to countless people worldwide who require different forms of treatment to fight their own cancer battles. Furthermore, Iovance researchers are hoping that if their methodology proves to be successful at slowing down or stopping tumor growth in the four types of you know, tumors that are targeted in these trials, that it could be used to treat many more types of cancer. Iovance is also making inroads to improve their infrastructure. They're currently researching various technologies that'll ensure that their treatments are not only powerful, but accessible as well. 
I think this is one of the fundamental reasons why IOVance could be a huge company over the next decade. Many young companies are focused solely on profits, and this focus can be their downfall in some cases. However, IOVance is instead ensuring that their focus is on creating treatments that not only help people, but are accessible and cost-effective too. I believe that this sort of thinking can benefit the company in the long run. Finally, IOVance is already anticipating positive results from their clinical trials, and they're in the process of constructing their first manufacturing plant in Philadelphia. This plant is due to be completed sometime in 2021, and this facility would allow IOVance to manufacture their treatments at scale by the end of 2022 onwards. So I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's all well and good. IOVance seems like a solid company with good intentions, but there's lots of companies with great intentions. Why should I consider them? Well, let me tell you a couple of reasons. The fact that IOVance is CEO, has a track record of taking early stage startups and transforming them into companies that are ready to merge is a big positive. What happens in the pharmaceutical industry is that smaller companies tend to do a lot of the initial research and providing that this goes well and positive results are seen, then larger companies sometimes swoop in and acquire the smaller companies or they come in and partner with smaller companies to help them with manufacturing and distribution. I think there's plenty of potential for this to be the case with IOVance going forward. IOVance's stock price is currently sitting at right around $40 a share, up approximately 60% from its position at this time last year. The five-year beta value for IOVance is estimated to be about 0.82, which roughly translates to meaning that their stock is about 18% less volatile than the market as a whole. However, the one-year beta is at 1.38, implying that the stock has gotten quite a bit more volatile in recent times. And the volatility in this case has been upwards, but you know, as we all know, that can be downwards as well too. So I think it's wise to take analyst estimates also with a pinch of salt here, but a majority of them are pretty bullish on this stock with a one year price target on average of $51.45. Now I don't generally talk about price targets here because a lot of them that you see on YouTube in particular are pretty far out of whack with reality. However, I think this one is pretty reasonable. I think this is a very reasonable price target for IOVance, and I don't think we're going to see you know, huge growth in the near future as trials are still ongoing, and the market's going to have to price in any positive or negative information relating to those trials, and we'll see that when that happens. So personally, I think the smart play here would be to wait and see how these clinical trials go before looking to invest. I think there's going to be plenty of time to get in on the way up, so no need to rush this one. But overall, I think that IOVance has a lot of potential going forward. They have an effective CEO with a great track record of growing similar firms, which is always a huge benefit for these smaller companies. Furthermore, they're already looking into the future with the construction of manufacturing facilities, which means they think that their clinical trials are going really well. And this could prove to be a shrewd decision if their methodologies are proven effective. I think that IOVance is definitely something that's worth keeping on your radar over the next couple of years. It may not have crazy growth initially, but down the line, we may see some big moves when we have more information. Once again, thanks again, folks, for tuning into this video. If you could, please take a second or two to like and subscribe. And also, if you want to help support my channel, please check out the Patreon link uh, below. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this company or if you've even heard about it at all because it's kind of new to me. Anyway, folks, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.